Frequent flyers fly, la 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 la. Frequent flyers bat. What's up? You checking out the Frequent Flyer? Welcome back to the channel. Smash the like button to show your support. If you're new to the channel, I like to extend a warm welcome. Kinda rainy out here. Wet day. <laughs> but it's FPV Friday, y'all. So we back out here at the park. And I got something to fly. FPV. Rain's still coming down, but uh, kind of shielded underneath these uh, trees here. But anyhow, I brought this guy back out. And I did make some changes to it. So uh, one thing that I did, I uh, wired the power to this uh, VTX directly to the battery lead. Well, not the battery lead, but the battery power on the uh, flight controller. So getting power directly from the battery now uh, for this Whoop light system. And also I changed the motors. I swapped the motors out for some slightly wider stator motors 1102 18,000 kV and in my testing it made a very big difference swinging these props here so uh, it has a better punch now and I'm thinking about doing the same to the uh, 85 millimeter little uh, Franken build that I made <laughs> because I got some 1102 22,000 kV motors and I'm thinking about throwing those on there to uh, give that a little more power to swing those slightly larger than these props <laughs> uh, but anyhow uh, yeah some uh, different ideas about these whoops to give them more power and all and I went to the three bladed props hopefully that doesn't cut the flight time down too much or draw too much power as opposed to having the bob leads which are a little more efficient but these are a little more stable and I think these might give a little more punch not sure though, haven't tested it completely. But we're back with an 850 this time. The battery lead is correct. Got BT 2.0 to BT 2.0. So should uh, be okay. Everything is lining up for this to be a nice HD zero whoop. With the cheating, <laughs> the cheating size on the props and oh man, it's coming down now. Let's hurry up and get this thing up in the air. Sheesh, that was the wind hitting the trees, making more water drop down on me, letting me know to stop running my yacht and hurry up and go. Got this guy on Express LRS. So I got the T-Pro out here. It's recording. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this monitor. Whenever I touch the monitor, it stops uh, getting flaky on me. It gets flaky whenever I'm not touching the monitor. I don't know what issue, what kind of issue that is. But let's take off. Yeah, my OSB isn't on either. Let's bring it back. Sheesh, I don't know what's going on with this Emacs monitor, y'all. It's flickering on me and stuff. Maybe my transmitting power is up too high. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. Looks like it needs some shielding or something. Let's see. get this away from the transmitter because I am broadcasting at 1,000 milliwatts. I think that might be it, y'all. Okay, so we ran the air with it. Uh-oh. Let me try to get it back to me, y'all. <laughs> I think I have my finger on the disarm button. So 
I got to bring it back. One issue I've been having with this thing is where I put the disarm button. I have it in the same spot where I have the button where I um, switch it from acro to angle. So I got a habit of uh, <laughs> hitting that disarm button. Okay, so we're back in. Sheesh, and this rain is starting to come down on me. I hope it doesn't ruin the system. Should stay under the trees here. Let's get back under the trees, y'all. Sheesh, I'm getting a lot of static too. I can barely see. I think I'm going to have to turn my transmitting power down. So if this recording comes out really staticky, that's the reason. Kind of salty about that. Let me bring it back. Under the trees, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, let's bring this guy back over here. Yeah, it's kind of weak, let me bring it in. Battery dying on it. Sheesh, and I don't know what that is, man. Uh, I'm suspecting. I'm suspecting that it's the uh, transmitting power of this Jumper T Pro. I have this guy, uh, excuse me, guys, with this apparatus all around my neck and everything. I can barely show you guys. <laughs> But on this Jumper T Pro, I have uh, the transmitting power all the way up to one watt with the uh, Express LRS. And so I think that's interfering with this uh, monitor here because I have it sitting right over top of me on this little neck thing, this neck apparatus, <laughs> which holds the monitor for me. And it's directly over top of this. And so I'm thinking that the transmitting power of this is giving me interference on this. And so if this uh, recording is kind of staticky, that's the reason why hopefully it's just on the monitor and not the recording. A lot of times the recording be different from what you actually see in real time. FPV Friday, y'all. Got this little uh, Super Whooper HD Zero Hybrid. <laughs> Franken build. I swapped it to the 18. I, I swapped it to the 1,800 kV 1102 motors for a wider stator, bigger punch, and it seems like it's a little. It seems like it's a little more awesome. But I gotta figure this out. The static with this thing. So I'm thinking it's hoping it's just the uh, transmitting power. FPV Friday, y'all have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.